gentlemen, please welcome your special guest referee, the world heavyweight champion, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. And making his way to the ring, from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam! It was three months ago tonight, on September 2nd, that Triple H was awarded the World Heavyweight Championship by Eric Bischoff. Thinking back, I didn't think Shawn Michaels would ever return to WWE. But he came back at SummerSlam and beat Triple H in a street fight. Yeah. I never thought Shawn Michaels would get in the Elimination Chamber and fight for the World Heavyweight title, but he did. And I didn't think he could win it, but he believed and went on to become World Heavyweight Champion. Well, what's your point, Cole? Shawn Michaels has overcome so much, not just to return to the ring, but to become World Heavyweight Champion. And that's a stiff kick. And there's the face buster! And there's a stiff clothesline. And this rivalry between Triple H and Shawn Michaels goes well beyond wins and losses. The game is hell-bent on making HBK's life a living hell. And ironically, before this match started, Michaels told Triple H that as long as he has the World Heavyweight Championship, it's the game's life that will be a living hell. Well, it's hard to argue that. Triple H lives for the World Heavyweight Championship. With every fiber of his being, he wants nothing more than to recapture the gold. The animosity between Triple H and Shawn Michaels is well documented, but let's not forget that Rob Van Dam was also in that Elimination Chamber match that Shawn Michaels won at Survivor Series. Could there be any lingering animosity between RVD and HBK here tonight, King? I don't think so, Cole. Unfortunately for Rob Van Dam, he was eliminated from the match by the time Michaels entered. If there's any... Man, there's no getting up from that. Uh-oh, it might be time to run. Van Dam is looking for something big here. Rob Van Dam has found a way to take charge of this match. Rob Van Dam smashes that one. And Rob Van Dam makes the kick out at the last moment. The game avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple H saw that one coming a mile away. Oh, back to the head, back to the temple. He's in position. Incredible counter. You have to respect the confidence and poise Triple H is showing. Look at this. It's locked in. Oh, man. Does that look painful? This is serious gut check time. Now what? And he 
hits the neck break. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go under the ring. But this isn't a no disqualification match. He might be trying to get disqualified. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. He's got him up. Out. And this has got to be it. Oh, no. Look at this. Yeah, Shawn Michaels reluctantly counting the one, two, three. I know Shawn Michaels hates that. But the game shoving it right in Michaels' face. One, two, three. And now what? Oh, look at this. Triple H demanded that Shawn Michaels raise the game's hand in victory. Here, I guess he's going to have to eat pro and do it. Oh! oh! No, he isn't! <laughs> Michaels unloaded on Triple H, and Triple H turned to the table. And another brawl is broken out between these two. Oh, my gosh, the fists are flying. The game and Shawn Michaels going at it. Emotions running so high between these two men. They can't oh. stand each other. Wow. This has become so personal each and every week. Well, they got here. No! Oh! Big elbow off the rope and Woo! the showstopper back to his feet. And finally, some help out here. And they're going to have to try oh! to... Oh, sweet chin music! Well, Triple H may have won this match, but he sure didn't win the fight. The King of Kings, the Heartbreak Kid, two forces set to meet in a three stages of hell match at Armageddon. The first fall, a knockdown drag him out street fight. The second fall, a more menacing arena as a hellacious steel cage surrounds the two combatants. And if necessary, the final stage where victory is won from the top of a ladder. Our story begins at Survivor Series. Shawn Michaels with the elbow from the top of the chamber. Shawn Michaels is the world's heavyweight champion. Legendary world heavyweight champion Ric Flair surprisingly showed a sign of support for the new champion. There was a time I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I was the man. The kid up on the raft and said, hey, nature boy, you ain't the man anymore. It's Shawn Michaels. Until Flair made clear what his message was really about. There is a new man in town. At Armageddon, the man, the bigger, better version, the best wrestler alive today, Triple H. If you're not ready to pass the torch, he'll kill you. The night was far from over for Triple H and Shawn Michaels as Raw culminated in a brawl no! that would set the stage for Armageddon. We're not seeing Shawn Michaels. You're seeing the showstopper right now. Taking out Flair. He's taking out the number one contender. Oh, that's the heart. Oh, my God, he's pounding the ladder to the top. No, God, no! Michaels, the elbow on the top of the Sima. A clash of colossal proportions as Triple H takes on Shawn Michaels in three stages of hell.